Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcad. So today I wanted to look at this uh, 3D model of a guitar neck and some of the geometry preparation you may uh, do in order to prepare the part for machining. So uh, I imported this in as an IGES file and you can notice our world coordinate system is over here and our part is over here. Uh, generally speaking, even though you can set your zero on the part wherever you want, uh, I like to align the part with the world coordinate system uh, just because I find it easier to navigate from that point of view. So uh, the first thing I want to do is just run the stock wizard here, get the minimum maximum of the part, and then I'll get this machine set up with the bounding box and uh, points and basically uh, the rectangular wireframe for the bounding box. Now what you can do is you can uh, save this file at this point close the file and then you can open it back up and uh, the bounding box will come along with it and what's useful about that is now I can take this part and if I want to zero the part on center here I can use that snap point that came up with the bounding box as my uh, center position so I, I find that pretty useful so I'm gonna move the part over to uh, zero for now um, so I'm just going to center up the part on zero. The next thing I'm going to do is select my model color, which is white, and I want to move it over to its own layer. So I'll move that over to its own layer. And then uh, from there, I'm going to turn off the bounding uh, box geometry. Okay, so from here, what I want to do is get the outside profile of the part. If you look, you can see how... Uh, you know it's tilted and we don't have just a single uh, profile for the part so I'm gonna create one I'll do that by first changing uh, the color I'm drawing in and then I'm gonna uh, create a new layer and make it active so I'm drawing this wireframe on its own layer okay so the next thing I want to do is extract uh, wireframe for the surface edges so I'll go to utility extract edges single uh, project to Z plane and I'm gonna say Z zero and I can pick up this face here and then I can pick up that face there and uh, what you'll notice is it gives me the profile of the part uh, as wireframe flat in the XY plane so that's a, uh, a neat little way to create a boundary for the part I'm gonna come in here and delete this geometry um, and then what I want to do is make sure this profile chains. so I'll go to a selection mode shift left click and you can see that it stops if we zoom in real close you can see there's a little gap here the reason why there's a gap there has to do with this uh, the corner of the model here there's a, a few other surfaces uh, that would be needed that I didn't choose uh, when I extracted the wireframe or it didn't pick them up so it, it kind of clipped off that corner so I'm gonna find this in a couple of spots on this model in this example really uh, I could try to trim them together but it's gonna fail when I do this because they're two spline curves uh, so what I'm gonna do is just join a line between them uh, just to close it off I'm not actually gonna use this profile uh, for uh, machining really what I'm gonna use it for is to create an offset okay so I'm just gonna uh, join up these intersections here there's a few of them as I go around and I think that's it so now I'm just gonna try a chain selection and you can see it goes all the way around the next thing I'm gonna do is just create another layer and I'm gonna do an offset other offset uh, I'm sorry other offset I'm gonna make this uh, 750 uh, to the outside I'm gonna shift left click space bar space bar okay that gives me the the first one and then the next thing I'm gonna do is go back to my uh, CAD layer here and I'm gonna offset this shape as well so I'm gonna do other offset I'm gonna make this uh, inch and a half and then I, I want to clean up these corners now you know there's some things you do because uh, you need to do them and there's other things you do because you like to do them uh, in this case this outside shape I'm really using for more a visual reference okay so I have my uh, I have my model here okay 
and then I have an offset for that and then I have an outer shape. Now one of the reasons why I'm doing this is you may decide, let me uh, measure this real quick, you may decide that you want to use tabs for this part. Uh, it's going to depend on how you're going to hold the part. Uh, you know, and if you want to create tabs, then, you know, we want to create a solid and, and cut inside of this channel. So what I can do here is extrude this uh, outside and uh, this outside shape here and this offset profile. Okay, so I'm going to extrude these two and I'm going to extrude them down to uh, 1.5780. other direction 5780 okay so now by doing that you know I have the the solid in the center and then I have uh, the stock boundary on the outside so you can see how I've encased the model and uh, this can be useful when I'm generating my tool path on the other side and uh, if I want to put some uh, some uh, tabs or bridges in here to hold the model uh, instead of having it break free. Again, it's going to depend on your setup and how you're going to hold the part, um, but this is a way that you can encase uh, your model in stock and then from there what you can do is you can uh, draw some bridges. So as an example, if I want to draw a bridge or a tab, what I can do is add a new layer or uh, add uh, go to my active UCS I want to add a new UCS I'm gonna go to planar face I'll pick this one right here I'm gonna go to a right view or I'm sorry I'm gonna go to a left view uh, S on my keyboard and I can uh, see through the surface from here I'm gonna draw a rectangle um, I'm going to want this to be bottom. I'm going to adjust my Y, let's say minus 1, uh, minus 0.5, minus 0.75. Okay, and then this is going to be Y, 0.5, and X, 0.5. Uh, let's make it 0.75. Okay. So now, so now I have that rectangle drawn there. And then what I can do is extrude that rectangle. So I'm going to do surface. Uh, we'll do, yeah, surface, extrude curve. We'll select that. And then what we want to do is just pull this into this other model here. Okay. So what that's doing is creating a tab. Let's go back to the top view. Uh, it's creating a tab. It's in the wrong position at this point, so let's uh, we can move it up and go to utilities translate. We'll grab this, uh, drag. See how that looks. It's a little better, but we can uh, move this into position so that we have some. Uh, material as we cut around it so that it, material is left there and it doesn't break free. Now again depending on your setup you may or may, may not need tabs but this is one of the methods that you can use to create tabs. So again to kind of uh, follow follow up with our, our workflow here we use the utilities extract edges single uh, to extract the wireframe from the model and to create a uh, closed profile at Z0. Uh, we did have to come in and trim it up. From there, we were able to offset that and extrude a block around it. And then from that block, we were able to add tabs as necessary. So in the next video, I'll talk about uh, facing off. Really what we want to do is face off this bottom face here to make sure that it's level and then uh, flip the part over and start roughing and semi-finishing this contour. So uh, we'll see you in that video. Thank you so much, guys.